Hello YouTubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Hoot of the Master Puppets. Today, looking at another beer that was sent to me by the ever so awesome Johan in Sweden. So this guy is, is another collaboration beer that All In Brewing in Sweden did. This time around with the uh, brewery from the Netherlands called Bouverie de Molen. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys know them. They make some awesome beers. Uh, the Netherlands are Holland. But uh, this is their collab called <laughs> The Empress Strikes Black. <laughs> I just love that name. That is pretty funny. Uh, it's an imperial stout brewed with licorice aged on whiskey oak on 10.2%. That's pretty cool. Or as they say, whiskey oak aged imperial stout brewed with licorice. Sounds awesome. I love licorice. I know a lot of people, especially Americans, they don't like, like licorice. And I think when they speak of licorice in this sense, it's like black licorice. So for me, that's awesome, but probably not to some. But it says on the back here, the Empress Strikes Black. This beer is a collaboration between All In Brewing and Brouverie de Molen, a rich Swedish whiskey oak aged imperial stout that we brewed with some sweet and salty licorice. Oh, uh, yeah. That sounds like, um, what's it, Samyak? Or Samyaki, I guess some people call it as well, like licorice, which is like salty, sweet, savory licorice. It's pretty awesome, but most people outside of Scandinavia hate it. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, Drink it today or in a couple of years, and do not fear the dark side of the force. It doesn't, didn't say that, but... <laughs> um, a cool little tribute to Star Wars. Got it poured here, the Empress Strikes Black is poured, and it is a peach black color to it. Nice kind of beige it. Wow, really tiny bubbles on it. Let's take out the aroma. Whoa, I smell licorice right away. Like sweet, savory... Uh, licorice aromas. There's definitely also a whiskey, oaky note to it. It kind of smells like like a sweeter whiskey. It's not like smoky, so it's probably not like an Islay or Scotch or something, or Isla, I think it is, but it smells really nice. It's got that soy sauce component almost. Dark fruits, roasty, toasty notes. It smells like super like rich, like creamy and rich. Wow, I really dig the licorice aroma. Like sweet, savory licorice. Kind of like in Denmark, we have this candy called uh, Sendelfisk, which is made by Ketchis, I think they're called. It's like a fish shaped candy that's licorice and then it's got like a salty coating. Kind of like Semiak licorice. -y. It's got a similar type of aroma almost. It smells really good. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers and thanks a bunch to Johan for the beer. Whoa, that is roasty. And licorice <laughs> Oh, really sharp roasty flavor there, too. But really nice thick mouthfeel. I do taste the 10.2% alcohol in there. It's not super boozy, but there's like a warming sensation, a little bit of heat. Now that's an interesting flavor. Like a sharp, salty licorice. Almost like a mix of salty, soy saucy flavors and licorice root. If you've ever had that. Back end. It's like roast coffee and that soy sauce component to it. Very different imperial style, actually. The whiskey oaky flavor is there too, but I don't think it's like super intense. It's definitely present, but it's not like up in your face, all up in your grill. Uh, but it's definitely there. It's got a nice coffee and uh, super roasty component to it as well. Almost like a burnt coffee. Like a coffee you've left out for too long on the kind of coffee maker or some, something like that. A little bit of dark chocolate, but this is mostly like dark, roasty, intense flavors. With like dark coffee and the like really dark type of licorice flavor. And then you get some savoriness, you get a little bit of sweetness. Toasted, slight toasty, oaky flavor with a little bit of the whiskey or some of the whiskey notes. The whiskey isn't super like apparent, but it's definitely there. Very different uh, imperial stuff and huge stuff. I really like licorice, so this is something for me. I prefer the sweeter Imperial Stouts, kind of like the 100% Viking they did. I reviewed a few days ago, it's really good, but uh, this is still really nice. I also like once in a while, you know, the, the big roasty ones, and this is definitely something I think uh, the Chief did a mash would enjoy, Sven, because he loves the roasty ones. Because this is definitely more on the roasty, uh, licorice dark, kind of burnt flavors. Uh, of the Imperial Stouts. I was gonna go 90, but I'm gonna bump it up to just a 91, a small grade higher. 
because of the name and all, it's, it's a cool reference. It is a really damn good beer. I just prefer the sweeter ones. Uh, but it's still a really nice Imperial Stout. If you dig the really big and roasty, slightly savory Imperial Stouts, this is something for you for sure. Say the 91 for the Emperor Strikes Black by Demolin and All In Brain. So guys, definitely let me know what you think of this one, if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I'll see you guys in another beer review.